Hello, welcome to the National Guild of Washington, or National Guild of Hypnotists, Washington chapter. We're so excited to hear from Jim Kellner tonight, who's going to tell us about a first annual conference in Tacoma and also how he has benefited from attending conferences. And I know, Jim, you have a lot to share about your business. And anything you want to share this evening is just going to be so enlightening. So I'm going to pin you so that you show up primary in the video. And we turn it over to you, Jim. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for, for being here. Uh, a couple of questions for you real quick. How many of you would like to make more money? Anyone? Okay. Everybody. Oh, everyone. Except Scott. He's, he's doing all right. Um, <laughs> would anyone like to make more friends? Maybe, maybe. Okay, one last question. Uh, how would you like to learn some awesome tech, hypnosis techniques, marketing, and all that stuff that would help your business? Anyone? Nope, nope. All right, go to conferences. Good night. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> um, yeah, now I can't get my camera back. <laughs> there it is. Um, Thanks for indulging me. I am a comedy hypnotist. I have to bring a little humor to the to the show. Um, so you know when it's it's kind of funny because you know and I don't know why I can't is Danny or Danny. God help me. It's just Danny. Just Danny. 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 You know you've told me about a thousand times. I should remember it. Um, so Danny. Um, so when Danny asked me first about this, I hadn't even started. Um, uh, working with with Anthony on the Pacific Northwest Hypnosis Conference, um, so it was kind of interesting the timing because the way it turned out. Then we did, and I'll, I'll get to that in just a moment. But um, you know what I just asked you those all those three things have happened for me as a result, result of going to conferences. Um, how many of you go to conferences? Have ever been to a hypnosis conference at all? Everybody, okay. Um, how many people are going regularly? Okay, yeah. Um, so I'll tell you back in 2017, I had never been to a hypnosis conference and frankly, they seemed lame. Um, I thought it was going to be boring and stupid because I'd been a comedy stage hypnotist for a while. I was also an actor for a while. So I used to perform at conferences, not hypnosis conferences, but conferences. And they all looked really lame and stupid and boring. And, um, and I was kind of in a place where I was like, you know, I mean, I know I could, I could learn more. And I was, I was taking classes and here and there and, and reading books and stuff. But I was like, hey, I don't really need to learn a whole lot. I don't need to go to these hypnosis conferences. And really back then, I didn't know a whole lot about them because I wasn't plugged into it. So I didn't even know about the various Facebook groups for the different conferences. Um, I'm gonna be sharing with those with you all tonight. So if you're if you wanting to get plugged in, you'll be able to do that. So it's, it's um, I find that a lot of times in life, it's the things that really hold us back are the things that we, we just, we don't know, we don't know. And that's where I was at. Um, I had a friend kind of twist my arm and I ended up going to Hypno Thoughts um, in 2017. It's in Las Vegas. It's the biggest hypnosis conference in the world. I, I think they're up to about a thousand people show up there every year now, 800 to a thousand. Um, they have something like 200 presenters every year, um, which is more than most of the other conferences even have in attendance. So it's huge. Um, it's a must attend event. Honestly, it really is. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that. Um, so some of the, some of the ways, and this is one of the funny things too, about, about the going to conferences. Um, and I think especially hypno thoughts because it is so huge um, and it's in Vegas and everything. Uh, and I've talked to a lot of people because I've, I've, I've um, convinced people to go, you know, and they finally, they go and they go, Oh, now I get it. There's just a thing that you don't understand until you go. And I, Evan's been to Hypno Thoughts. Um, has anybody else been to Hypno Thoughts besides Evan? Evan, would you, would you say that's true? What was your experience in going to Hypno Thoughts? That was my uh, first one, not, not counting the virtual NGH one, which is, you know, completely different because yeah, it was virtual. And I had no idea what to expect. And, uh, it, it was a blast. I met a ton of people and it was the, for the first time, I finally felt like I wasn't working in a vacuum. Right. <laughs> there, oh yeah. There are other people in the same boat and uh, just getting to see all the different ideas is, is great. Yeah. Who were the rock stars that you got to see? 
that you were you were impressed by? Just a couple of them. Um, well, I was really excited to do the training in person with Carl Smith. Um, yeah. Of course, uh, Jim Kellner was there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, God, whoa. So, uh, Shawn Michael Andrews. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what, I just want to. I just yeah, want to know I a mean, couple of them. That's good. Mike, yeah. Mike Mandel, Chris. Dar- yeah. I mean, like everybody was there. <laughs> yeah. So I'll tell you. So when I when I first went, so the first night of Hypno Thoughts is a pool party. Ken Gutso was who's a who's a kind of well respected leader in the in the conference industry uh, with hypnosis as a trainer. He hosts a, a pool party, um, and I'm walking around and I. I see Mike Mandel, and I don't know if any of you are familiar with Mike Mandel, but he's got lots of videos on YouTube. Uh, he does a lot of training. Um, Richard Nongard, who's written tons of books and done lots of videos and trainings. Um, uh, Victoria Gallagher, who's who's um, one of the leaders in in uh, MP3 downloads. Also, Steve G. Jones. And if you don't know who Steve G. Jones is, um, it's hard to believe that you don't know because whenever I, I've had, I've met so many people that find out I'm a hypnotist, and they go. Do you know Steve G. Jones? He's the guy that puts out the one dollar MP3 hypnosis recordings. So, um, which I'm not a fan of, um, but of charging one dollar, but um, it makes it hard to sell our other ones. But anyway, he's one of the more well-known, um, I guess you'd say, famous hypnotists in the industry. So it's really cool to walk around and you're seeing these people. I'm like, I I've watched this guy's videos on YouTube for for a decade. You know, I've, I've learned a lot of techniques from from some of these people, and so. It's such an interesting experience. And you'll run into that at other conferences too. It's just hypno thoughts is just so big. Um, and they really do a, a good job of making it fun, you know. And there are some some hypnosis conferences that are maybe a little more serious. Um, there's a serious side to hypno thoughts and, and some of the conferences and a fun side as well. They do things like um, they have a pajama party or a bowling party, those kind of things, which is a great way to make connections with other people. And one of the cool things is you know i was just i was just chatting with someone online who um kind of just kind of started getting into hypnosis and she was complaining about the fact that all of her friends do this thing to her now that she's you know hypnotist don't look at my eyes don't look at my eyes and are you gonna make me bark like a dog and all this which is just the silly stuff we all get used to it it was new to her but that's a cool thing when you go to the conferences you don't have any of that bs anymore it's like you're around a thousand people that get it Right. They we're all we all share the same language. We share the same a lot of the same values and interests, the same mindset. And so it's so cool to be around so many people that are all about helping other people to be better. And often we're helping ourselves to be better. Um, One of the things that I've noticed, too, about conferences is, um, well, have you ever met a hypnotist that was kind of a jerk besides me? You ever met one? I've met a couple. (laughs) <laughs> um, you know, some of those egocentric ones a lot of times, or the ones that are that have that kind of scarcity mindset, they're afraid, oh, I don't want to talk to this other hypnotist because then maybe all the, you know, they'll get all the clients in in West Seattle, for instance, or something. Um, you don't see that as much at the conferences. And I think that it kind of, it's a way of, it kind of um, filters them out because they don't want to be in that environment because they don't want to share ideas. They don't want to you know, share marketing tips and things like this. And so you don't meet that many people that are not just really awesome, cool people. So that's a, that's a really big advantage. And in fact, I will tell you that some of my best friends um, are hypnotists and people that I've kind of either met online that were hypnotists and then kind of cemented those relationships at conferences. Um, And then um, I've, I've made money um, by the connections. And I'll give you an example. I've, uh, a friend of mine, James Sellis, is a um, comedy hypnotist down in uh, California. Um, he's retiring. He's giving me all of his, his shows that come in now. So I'm constantly getting, getting messages, um, you know, come, come do it. Even before he retired, if, when he couldn't take a, take a gig, you know, he'd send it my way. Um, I've had other hypnotherapists that we refer clients back and forth. You know, I, I may, um, for instance, um, Kaz Riley, I don't know if any of you are familiar with her. I know Evan surely is. Um, she speaks on um, sexual issues, a lot of sexual issues, uh, especially female sexuality and that kind of a thing. And so when I get a, when I get someone uh, an inquiry for 
any anything like that, I'm like, oh, here, go to Kaz, you know, because it's, I mean, I kind of, my, my philosophy now is stop trying to sell your shit to everybody <laughs> because um, the more of a niche you carve out for yourself, the better you're, you're going to be and the better you'll get. And I think you have a stronger message that way. Now, you know, I'm, I have, you know, I have a certain, certain, you know, group that I kind of focus on, but if somebody wants to quit smoking, sure, I can help them. And I will, you know, if, if somebody wants to, you know, uh, stop biting their fingernails, I will, but, but I think it's the marketing part is it's really good. If you can just kind of stay on target do with your one audience, like DL, you know, addiction type stuff, you know, you have that same message out there all the time. I think it's really, really helpful. So you get referrals back and forth, back and forth. Um, which which helps your business. You also get to meet uh, and take classes from people like Jason Lynette, who you may have even heard of his podcast, the um, the Work Smart Hypnosis podcast, um, where he shares tips on how to increase your business. Uh, you can take classes from um, a lot of other hypnotists that will share their knowledge about you know increasing business, how to how to run. Um, Google ads and how to blog and all that kind of stuff. In fact, we've got a lot of those people lined up for the Pacific Northwest hypnosis conference. So I just, I think that it's such a, it's such a valuable experience. And again, it really is that kind of a thing where um, you just don't know what you don't know. And I've yet to meet anyone that I referred to go to hypnothots. And now I've got had probably uh, it's probably close to 10 of my friends, colleagues, um, that have said, you know, that they've gone to, to uh, Hypno Thoughts or even other conferences based on just my recommendation have told me they don't regret it. I'm so, so glad that I went. So as I said, I'm going to share the websites and I'm going to share the groups to the, the, the major ones that I know about. There's, I mean, there's, there's, you know, I, I had no idea, but did you guys know that there's actually hundreds of hypnosis conference? Pro well, up to a hundred, there's, there's definitely scores of hypnosis, so probably hundreds is probably too much. Over 50 hypnosis conferences going on each year. Um, and I didn't even know that until um, actually a friend of mine that I, um, a good friend of mine now that I actually met at a conference, Grant Saunders, who's a, a hypnotist in uh, the UK. Um, he and I started doing a um, kind of a podcast called Hypno News. And on Hypno News, we talk about news and research um, in hypnosis. We share some pro tips and and do some funny stuff. And one of the things we cover too is conference talk. And so we actually uh, look up and talk about various conferences. And I'm going to share the link to that because um, we're constantly looking up and then sharing that information with folks on, on different conferences. And, and like I said, the other stuff, I'm going to put that in the chat. Um, I'll also give it, if you email me later, I'll send it to you in a, in a Google sheet. Um, so there's, I mean, there are conferences for whatever interest you have. So I'm going to talk more about the physical ones that are the ones that are happening, you know, um, in person these days, because some of them are back. Um, but I'll tell you one of them that I find interesting. The coolest name, I think, for any hypnosis conference is Charmed. Um, it's a, it's a, a fetish focused hypnosis conference. It's not my cup of tea, but it's one of them that's out there. And literally, like I said, the coolest name for any hypnosis conference, I think. Uh, there's hypnosis conferences for, uh, well, specifically for NLP, for medical and dental. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. A lot of them are still happening online, um, but then you know some of them are actually in person. I'm gonna share, let me see here. Where's my sheet? So the next. Um, where's it at? Ah, well, if you're a performer, if you're a, if you do any kind of performing hypnosis or you want to grant and I actually are, um, have just put together, um, this, and this is, we've only got the landing page up for presenters right now. We're looking for presenters who want to present about performing hypnosis. And so this is for folks that want to, um, talk about present on stage hypnosis, street hypnosis, mentalism, um, even, does anybody here do talks where they, in, you know, kind of public talks where they integrate some hypnosis demonstrations? Anybody do that? Yeah. Um, and so that's what we're looking for in this, in this one. 
Anthony Gailey is, is one of the really well-known folks in that space. Uh, we're hoping to have him talk. Um, so that's just one of the, it's gonna, and it's gonna be an online one. So I actually, I've been tracking that for that one. I've been tracking down um, hypnotists from all over the world. So I actually have invited a couple of them, uh, stage hypnotists from India. Um, I think that'll be really interesting to have uh, that kind of um, worldwide uh, representation. And we're using Zoom webinar so that uh, whatever they say, it can be translated into whatever language you speak. So it'll, it'll translate it uh, through text, through captions, which I think is, is just amazing. Technology, right? So there's one called the um, the ICB, ICBCH. Is anyone a member of this, this organization? Um, it's Richard Nongard's um, group, um, um, like the NGH, like a hypnosis organization. Um, that's his group. And, and really, I got to say, I love, I love Richard. Uh, he, everything that he teaches, I, I recommend. I recommend you take any class you ever can from him. If you're wanting to write a book, take his class. He's got a, he's got a workshop, a 12 week workshop where you, um, you write a book in 12 weeks, um, or can, I'm still, still working on mine. Um, so this is, this one happens in Florida it happens in January or in March. So great time to, uh, to be going to that conference. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about that one. I haven't been to that one yet. Uh, I just got I just got invited to speak again at the Heartland Hypnosis Conference. So I, I talked a lot about how awesome HypnoThoughts is. It's big. It's giant. It's in Vegas. Um, if Vegas isn't your thing, you just stay in the hotel the whole time. You don't have to go out and, and do all that other stuff. But there's a lot of fun stuff to do that's not gambling, drinking related, that kind of stuff. A lot of stuff to do there. Um, hypno the uh, Heartland Hypnosis Conference is a small conference. About 150 people attend it. It's in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, it's, um, it's a great opportunity. The, one of the things that I love about, about the smaller conferences is that you actually get to, uh, you get to sit down and talk with people that you don't get to sit down and talk to at a conference with 1,000 people. Has anyone ever heard of the Elman Induction? Hopefully everybody's, everybody, yeah, okay. So um, you, um, uh, Dave, Dave Elman, of course, uh, is, the, um, is the innovator behind the Elman induction. And uh, his son, uh, Larry Elman, and his, and his wife, uh, Cheryl, they carry on the tradition. They're, they're actually doing a online um, um, conference right now. It's happening this month. I don't know exactly when. But I was at the Heartland Conference. I got to sit down and have dinner with them and talk with them. So we're talking about people that are, are legends and connected to either even, even bigger legends. You know, I mean, don't tell them I said that, but really, you know, Dave Elman, I mean, we all know the Dave Elman induction. Um, and so what a cool thing that is, right? I mean, to get to talk to the people that are so closely connected to um, kind of the innovations in in hypnosis in, in modern day uh you know modern time and william takes really good care of everybody lots of food feeds you um i will tell you that um they've already closed presenter applications i think although if you went to the website uh you might still be able to get in on that if you wanted to present and i'm going to talk a little bit about presenting in just a moment um and I'm just going to get through these real quick. The next one up is uh, oh, that's H. That's uh, Hypno Thoughts Live. Um, that's their website. That that would that would be the next one coming up. Actually, no, I, I skipped the most important one. What the heck? Um, before Hypno Thoughts is the PNW Hypnosis Conference. I hope that you're all uh, at least attending, if not presenting. Evan is uh, is one of our presenters. Thank you, Evan. Thank the PNW, you. Yeah, the PNW um, Hypnosis Conference right here in Tacoma, Washington. We're not calling it the Seattle Conference or the, or the Tacoma Conference because we're trying to make it a regional conference. We really want Vancouver, BC to come. We really want Portland, Oregon to come. We really want Spokane, Washington and Boise, Idaho to come, even Northern California. And so we wanted to give it a really inclusive name. 
I mean, those three major cities, Spokane, Vancouver, and Portland, they're only four hours away. So it's a drive to conference. One of the reasons that Anthony and I talked about putting this together because we run into people who, for whatever reason, they don't go to conferences. You know, it's um, maybe they can't afford it. Uh, maybe they don't feel comfortable going, you know, um, out of town for several days. Maybe their spouse can't come with them. They can't get time off work. Um, this is literally one where you could just get up early on Saturday morning and drive to Tacoma and, um, you know, drive home that night or stay in the hotel. And we've got just an incredible lineup of people, um, a lot of them from the Northwest, but we're also bringing in people from out of state and even out of the country. Um, Evan mentioned uh, Carl Smith, who's actually the keynote speaker. If you're not familiar with Carl Smith, he's got a huge YouTube presence. He's, um, he's a very popular presenter at several conferences, including the UK hypnosis conference. And I'm sorry, I didn't get any information about that. That's one that's I would recommend as well. I'm hoping to go myself. And he, um, uh, the other thing that we've done that Anthony and I have done, which as far as I know, no other conference has done this. We have set aside some time on Saturday to put some classes together that are just for the public. Now, hypnotists can go to it, but this is for the public because we're thinking about, you know, um, people like to go to um, success seminars. I mean, look at Anthony Robbins, uh, you know, of course, he's very popular, right? Um, but so we have like Mary Lee LeBay is going to be talking about past life regression. Evan is doing a talk on stress, I believe. Is that your talk on Saturday, Evan? I think that that's the driver's head for the mind. Driver's head for the mind. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, so these, uh, so um, so the public can come in at a discounted rate and take these classes that are more geared for them, presentations that are more geared for them. Um, whereas for the hypnotist, mostly we're going to be going to the classes that are that are going to help us in our field. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit different about ours now, I think Jason Lynette is great. Uh, he teaches some good stuff. What we have done though is we've actually reached out to um, people in the business community uh, here and other places that actually do like business stuff all day long. That's all they do. They don't do hypnosis. They don't do coaching. They don't do NLP. Um, so when you take the SEO class from the guy, I think his name is Jeff. When you take his class, you're going to be listening to somebody who has a podcast about SEO. Um, he does this work, so, you know, five days a week. It's his primary pre um, um, profession. Um, we have a, a blogger. We have a, a small business attorney that's going to be talking about things that you need to look for uh, small business wise. So really an opportunity to grow your business um, and not just learn some new techniques. I mean, um, I think we should all learn new techniques, but I think sometimes sometimes hypnotists get maybe too caught up in just learning new hypnosis techniques because they think that's going to make them more successful. But but really, I mean, once you know the basics, once you know the element induction, um, you know, you can do a lot of great stuff with just um, just plain old hypnosis, as you probably, a lot of you probably already know. Um, and I mean, there are some great protocols out there, newer protocols and things like that, but you can, you can do that. The thing that will really grow your business is, you know, learning how to use SEO on your website, you know, learning how to do better marketing, that kind of stuff. So I think it's a really uh, valuable, valuable thing. And that's June 3rd and 4th. And even though I'm, I'm helping to, to co, to co-organize that one, um, if you can get a way to go to HypnoThoughts and you can only go to one conference, honestly, that's the one I would go to. I would say go to that one. We put ours together specifically for folks that it's not an option for or that want to do a second conference close to home. And also, you know, um, I'm sure you all you all enjoy meeting up with each other, right? I mean, and this, and especially when it was back in person and maybe we'll get back to that someday. Um, I know uh, we've been doing the Hypnotic Lunch Club you know, in the Pacific Northwest uh, hypnosis uh, group. Uh, 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 Danny has just set up another one for February, I saw. That's cool. Um, if you're down south or want to travel down south, there's one happening in Puyallup on the 21st of this month at, at BJ's. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's in the, the Pacific Northwest hypnosis group. Um, slash... Sorry, I'm just going to type this out. And the reason for that group is really for, uh, probably didn't get that spelled right because it's not, 
if you go on Facebook and, and, and Google uh, Pacific Northwest Hypnotist, you'll find it. The whole purpose of that group was to make, to make it easier for us all to connect locally. So to have lunch together, have coffee together. Uh, I travel a lot. So I use the group um, to, uh, to meet up with hypnotists in the area when I travel. So for instance, last night, I met up with a bunch of hypnotists here in Scottsdale, Arizona, near Phoenix. Um, and I'll tell you, this is, this is what I have found. Um, there's, a, there's a saying out there and it says, my network is my net worth. Mm. My network is my net worth. I have found that to be absolutely 100% true. The more people I know, the more successful I am, um, the more, you know, more connections I have, the more friendships I have, uh, and really the more money I make. You know, like Grant and I, uh, we're putting together a whole bunch of different programs. We're co-teaching at the different conferences. And we, we've been friends on, on Facebook for a while, but we actually met at a conference. So let me see. Danny, are you taking all these down? I'm going to, uh, you know, what I'll do, I will share the, I will share my Google sheet with Danny and she can send it out to everybody. If that's, is that convenient, Danny or Danny, or would it be better? Is that, is that convenient? You're on mute. I know. I know. Oh. I was in the middle. I just put the better link for the Facebook group of Northwest. Pacific oh, thank Northwest you. Hypnotist. Oh, so I was in yeah. the middle of finding that, but yes, oh, gotcha. I think we should put all these links in the newsletter. And so okay. you don't have to do anything unless there's a better document that we should, we'll put in the newsletter. So. Yeah, if well, you send can... that information, I take care of the MailChimp uh, yeah. piece. So I'd be yeah. glad to make sure it gets out to everybody. Yeah, we'll yeah do it'll that. be really send easy it. that way. Yeah, Because it'll okay, be good. one sheet. You don't have, have to copy and paste all these little, little snippets. Yeah, right. cool. Okay, good. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, um, does does anyone here currently uh, present at any conferences? Kevin does. I mean, currently yeah. or in the past? Uh, or in the past, currently, in the past, yeah, all over, yeah. Both? Um, well, I got to say, I've presented at several conferences. They haven't been so much hypnotherapy conferences as much mm -hmm. because of my other work with uh, social work and mm -hmm. being a substance use dependency professional also. So yeah. I have brought hypnosis to that wherever it is that I yeah. work. And then I present yeah. that. I presented all over the country with that. And what was that experience like for you doing that? Teaching a conference? I absolutely loved it. It was great. Yeah. Barb, I know you do. What, uh, what's your, been your experience? You're on mute. <laughs> I usually speak at the hypnobirthing conferences, and I've been lecturing a lot on the prenatal bonding work that I do, where I've been trained under the German psychiatrist, because nice. it is hypnosis related. Much mm -hmm. as much as we, he doesn't say that, but we put we do a relaxation session and then let our parents feel the baby. Nice, nice, and good experience for you. Oh yeah, I love to speak. How about you, Evan? What's your been your experience? Uh, I'll I'll let you know on June fifth. <laughs> oh, this will be your first time present. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you'd already presented. Nancy, how about you? No, I've presented at um, Le Leche League and midwives conferences as well as some public speaking, and also did um, some work related retreats for stress nice. management for some corporations. Good experience. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to get a chance to introduce it to other people that haven't had it. Yeah. So I want to mention a couple of things that I think are important to note. Um, what DL and Nancy have done is they've spoken, and maybe maybe Barbara too, but they've actually spoken at conferences or events that were not necessarily hypnosis events. So when you do that, and that's really, that's the next thing I'm doing, because I suddenly realized that I'm in this, in I, I'm like a small fish um, in a big bowl of fish, right? We're just all a bunch of, at the hypnosis conference. Whereas if you do go to a different kind of conference, um, whatever that is, suddenly you are the hypnosis. You are the one hypnosis expert, you know? So uh, there's a lot of credibility there, a lot of prestige if you're the only hypnotist. So I highly encourage all of us to do that. Now, there are some advantages to speaking at conferences. There are advantages to speaking in general. 
one of the things is, one of the benefits is people will think you're a badass because everybody's afraid to speak, right? Everyone out there, it's like the number one fear is public speaking. So if you can do that, you're already going to be um, in high regard. Now, there are some people out there I know that are going, oh, I could never do that. In fact, I, I was having lunch with a colleague. Uh, he's a hypnotherapist. And he was, I said, well, you did a hypnosis show before, didn't you? He goes, I did one. He goes, I, it's just not for me. I'm not like you guys. You know, I get really scared when I go out on stage. Are you kidding me? Who, has anybody here gone on stage and not been afraid? <laughs> uh, at least in the beginning. Um, in the beginning, I think like most of us are afraid. It, did anybody else, well? Did anybody just walk out there the first time and they were totally confident? If they, I, I good for you, you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, DL, fantastic. Um, I think for the most of us, um, it's a challenging thing. And so, it, and so the point I want to make is, if you're if you're that person going, oh, that's not me. I'm I'm shy. I'm an introvert. Uh, whatever. I I used to be an incredible introvert. I I couldn't even talk. Honestly, I had a drinking problem in high school because I couldn't talk to girls unless I was drinking. And then they didn't want to talk to me because I was drinking. So um, it was uh, it was a it was kind of a circuitous thing. Um, you can learn this. You can get better at it. And one of the great things is you can use hypnosis to get better at NLP. So I highly, highly recommend that you just get on stage, even if it's a Lions Club or your local, you know, um, whatever group. If you're in the uh, one of those, uh, I don't know what they're called, but those uh, networking meetings, and you can do if you they let you do a a 20 minute talk or something, get up in front of people. It is the, it is one of the quickest ways to elevate your prestige. Um, and it'll, it'll pay dividends. It really will. Uh, almost every time I'm on stage, I get some kind of, I get some kind of um, either a follower or somebody who wants to work with me, hire me for a gig, hypnotherapy, whatever. Um, so a couple of options too. I know sometimes people um, there are different things. There's different ways to be involved in conferences. You can be a sponsor um, for most any of the conferences. You can get your, you know, you can pay a little bit and get your logo on a on a on a bag or something. So um, if you want to do something like that, um, if you're broke, um, like sometimes folks are, uh, my first year at HypnoThoughts, I was broke. I was um, I volunteered. You can volunteer at a lot of conferences and they won't. It doesn't cost you anything. So um, you do have to still pay for your hotel. Uh, but you get the conference for free. And, and usually the way it works is you work uh, four hours each day. So um, you still have four hours. So you'll be, you'll be, a lot of times you're just sitting in a classroom. So um, my first year I got to sit in uh, on Mike Mandel um, for my work. So it wasn't such a bad gig. I got to sit in on a, on a class I would like to have seen anyway. So um, that worked out really well. Tons of advantages to being, um, it'll elevate your credibility in the field. Uh, being a speaker at conferences, and it'll also elevate your credibility to the general public. Because think about this, people want to go to the expert. If I have on my website, in fact, I finally just added an events page to my website um, so I can list where I'm going to be uh, for public events and I'm putting uh, hypnosis stuff on there. I want clients to go over there and go, oh my God, he's speaking at this, con he's speaking at this conference, he's speaking at this conference. He must be good, right? <laughs> So whether I am or not doesn't matter. We're just trying to get people to, um, to at least believe that, believe in us and trust us. And so that'll elevate your, uh, your prestige and get you more clients, I think, really. Um, if, you're, if you're not already a, um, a speaker, and I've only got about five more minutes, so thanks for bearing with me here. Um, I've only got a few minutes left that I'm going to uh, talk to you. Um, if you would like to become a speaker, I've got some tips for you. And I actually learned these mostly back when I was doing stand-up comedy because um, I would be invited to do, um, uh, you know, do a show or something. And I kind of, I kind of figured out uh, some of the secrets. And now that I'm, I'm, you know, choosing presenters from, for mine and Anthony's conference, uh, a lot of these things are becoming even more, uh, you know, real to me. Uh, I would say the number one thing is don't be a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> there's some, uh, and so here's the thing. Mike Mendel. So this stuff here that I'm going to tell you right now, it does not apply to you if you're a Mike Mendel, if you are a Richard Nongard, um, if you are one of the big names in the industry. Boy, I just want you there. If you want to come, whatever, whatever you want. You Yes, please, because I know you're going to put butts in seats. For the rest of us, myself included, 
um, because I don't know that somebody sees my name at a, at a conference and goes, I have to go to that conference just because Jim Kellner is going to be there. Um, so, uh, so these are the things that all of us have to do. I do it all the time. So when I say don't be a pain in the ass, and that's probably, unless you're a huge pain in the ass, it's probably not going to keep you from getting uh, chosen as a presenter, but it is a hassle because what happens a lot of times is people will message us like me or Anthony, uh, like through Facebook or something. And they'll just ask us a question about the conference that they could have found in the Facebook group or on the website. Um, and so that's, it's a little bit frustrating because it takes a lot of time. Um, there's an enormous amount of time, you know, that you, that you spend on one of these conferences. And then people like Stephanie who handles hypno thoughts, she's got a thousand people to wrangle. So um, it's ideal if you can, and I found this out for myself anyway, in my own business, um, trying to, um, you know, because I don't know if you sell products or anything, but I have a lot of digital products. And so people will, they'll message me at three o'clock in the morning, you know, hey, I ordered this product. Why haven't I gotten it? You know, and then if I don't answer within 15 minutes, is this a scam? Literally had this happen. Is this a scam? This better not be a scam. It's three o'clock in the morning. I hadn't even gotten the message yet. I wake up to this. Um, and it was really because they just didn't follow the download instructions. Um, so uh, it, it made me a better, I think, better about checking these kinds of things out. So if you can, you know, if you're like, say you're in the Pacific Northwest Hypnosis Conference, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, talk bad about you or think less of you, but I'm going to be like, oh man, I wish I didn't have to spend my time answering this question. Um, and if it's, and if, if you can't really can't find the answer, really, we will, we will help you. But for instance, if you want to know when the conference is, you can go into the Facebook group or on the website and you can find it really easily. Um, if there's a question you don't know an answer to, like you, you want to go to Hypno Thoughts and you want to know what the hotel code is, you can message Scott or Stephanie, they're the, they, they run it, or you can search for it, right, in the hip, fit, Facebook group, um, or you can ask in the Facebook group. That's the other option is just ask, hey, does anybody have the hotel code? You know, does anybody know when pre and post conference is? These kinds of things. Um, and it just makes it just makes it so much easier on organizers. And, you know, really the less friction you create in life, uh, the more people are going to like you. Um, I, I think that's true for just about just about anything. And um, uh, and just so you know, too, one of the things I wanted to point out is most conferences, uh, I think in the past it was different. Most conferences do not pay you to attend. So you will not be paid uh, as a presenter, as a normal presenter. Sometimes the keynote speaker might be compensated. Um, sometimes their hotel room will be paid for. It just depends on the conference. Uh, the way that presenters uh, end up making their money uh, to be able to travel to all these conferences is you get to a point where you start pitching uh, what are called pre and post conference workshops. And they're typically one to three days. And this is where you're spending a whole day really digging in deep to something. And so, for instance, last year at Hypno Thoughts, my class was from basic to badass. And what I taught was street hypnosis techniques. So um, that basically, it just about covered my whole expenses for travel, the whole thing. So that's really, that's really nice. Once you've done this, once you put in the time, you know, a couple of years, whatever, um, you pitch something, um, then you can start making some money doing it. Also, um, it's kind of frowned on. You don't want to do a heavy pitch at the end, but you can always say, you know, pass around an iPad and get people's email addresses or, you know, text me this number and, uh, you know, the word gift or something, and I will send you my top tips uh, and you get them on a mailing list or something. And then you can, you can hopefully um, start recouping some of the costs. I'm a big believer in, you know what? Um, people should be compensated. So if, 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 if I'm offering something of value and you can use it, I don't feel bad about, about trying to get you to, to purchase it because I think I'm going to help you. Um, so I, I wouldn't feel bad about that kind of a thing. Um, the other two things to do is engage in the, in the Facebook group, share, uh, as much as possible. So like if the, if, if they ask you like in hypno thoughts, they will ask you, they do a video challenge. Hey, do a challenge, talk about a challenge in your life and post the video, do those kinds of things because you stand out not only to the organizers, but you also stand out to the people that may actually want to take a class from you someday, because I don't know about uh, any of the other presenters in here, but I've walked into a, um, a room before and had only two people in the room. And that sucks. I would rather have nobody, right? Because it's a lot less awkward to just close the door and walk away than to have to just sit down and talk to two people. Uh, so 
Um, the more people get to know you, like you, and trust you, the more likely they are to come and watch your presentation. And that's really just true anywhere. So engage in the group, you know, share posts, um, that kind of thing. Um, and um, if you're chosen as a presenter, especially, and if you want to be, it's so this is just so that you get to know, this will help you to get to know people. People will, uh, what I've had happen is I will pres I'll post stuff in say the Heartland group and I don't even know it. Some guy comes up to me at Heartland last year and goes, oh my God, Jim Kellner, I've really been looking forward to meeting you. I had no idea who this guy was, but I'm active in the Facebook group. Um, and I know some of you are like, oh, I don't wanna do social media. You don't have to do social media personally, but your business does. So get over that. If you're an entrepreneur, you gotta be on social media if you really wanna go anywhere, honestly. Um, Every, 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 there's maybe two major companies in the world and they've, they've made a choice not to be on social media and that's their statement. Um, Coca-Cola is on, on social media, you know, McDonald's is on there, Ford, uh, every business is on social media. So just think about that. Try to build, if you want to become a presenter, um, you want to, you want to try and build a social media following. Um, so do what you can to, you know, Google that, how to do that. Um, I'm, I've got, you know, you're welcome to message me and I've got some tips for that. Cause I've, I've grown my social media to, to pretty, pretty substantial numbers and your email list, email list also. So if you have an email list, great, keep building that. That'll help you because as an organizer of any event, and if you've ever gotten an event, you want presenters that will put butts in seats. So, um, because that's how we pay for it. We definitely want good speakers. But we also want good speakers that are going to put butts in seats. You know, like somebody applied and they just, and there's a little part where you say, you know, what are you going to do to, to, to get to market this event? And the person said, my work speaks for itself. No, it doesn't. Your work doesn't speak for itself because nobody knows your work. So um, unless you, like I said, unless, unless you're Mike Mandel, you're Richard Nongard, you're David Snyder, you're one of the recognizable names in the industry. Um, you, just your name there alone is not going to put uh, butts in seats. Maybe the title of your talk will, maybe the description, but even then, even if it's something compelling, um, if they don't know who you are, it's it's tough. You really want to get your face out there. You want to get some some momentum out there. Um, so that's that's what I have for you. I hope that you'll all, I mean, really being a speaker at any kind of event, like I said, it's going to elevate your prestige so much. Um, I have seen such growth in my business in me, myself. Part of this also is when you get selected to be a speaker and it happens time and time again, your confidence rises. You start to recognize, wow, I do know some stuff. When you're teaching, even if you're new to this, you know, and you, but you teach a class and you get the, nod, the heads nodding and you get people taking notes, you go, wow, I actually do know a lot of stuff. And I bet, I bet all of you know something that you could teach. Even if you've not been doing hypnosis for 20 years, maybe you're really good at this one, to, at the Elman induction. You know, maybe you're really good at SEO. Maybe you're really good at, maybe at your previous job you did marketing. Um, those are the kind of things that you can pitch um, to conferences. Um, so when you're, when you get, when you are a presenter, um, they vary a little bit, but they, you know, you, you, you apply to be a presenter. They notify you you post something, you know, you'll see me posting for the next few days. I've, I've had like three, three things come in. So I'm posting heavily. Um, and then you go and, and people will be happy and, and it'll be a great experience. So please go to conferences and speak at conferences. I'm Jim Kellner. Good night. Thank you so much, Jim. I'm going to close the recording right now, but we will uh, be entertaining some questions.